Hey guys, take a look at this cool sign I found. Multi-family site for sale. Contact us. Over here it says 2.55 acres M2RM5 zoning. What does that mean? RM5 zoning? Do you know? Well, I don't know what those letters and numbers mean, but I know what zoning means, okay? It's a very important concept in real estate, okay? So take a look at this land, okay? Here's the beautiful 2.55 acres that you could buy. Hey, maybe you want to move to Calgary here and buy some land. Okay, so what do you think this land is for? I mean, what could you use this land for? If you buy this land, could you just use it for anything? Could you build a, could you build a bar or a restaurant? Or could you build a, you know, could you build a bowling alley? Could you build a, a factory? You know, what, what, what could you build on here? Well, the answer is no, you could not build those things because this is zoned as like a residential, you know, for residential purposes. Okay, residential means place where, where you like you live. Okay, over there we have like some single family homes. Okay, over here we have some like condo buildings. Okay, and uh, over there, you know, some more town homes or condo buildings, okay? So this whole area is residential, okay? So there's a pretty good chance that this piece of land here is uh, is just for residential, okay? So you can't buy this land and uh, and build like a uh, big factory or something, okay? Because that would that would be illegal because the city planners probably met a long time ago and they they decided the purpose for this land. Hey, can you guys hear the frogs? Isn't that cool? Frogs croaking. You can hear the frogs croaking. That's what we say. That's the sound uh, frogs make. Okay, frogs croak. Okay, so uh, let's go over there. Maybe we can catch a frog while I talk to you guys about real estate and zoning. Zoning is a, is a really important concept, right? Because, because you have to think about it before you, buy, before you buy a house or before you buy a condo somewhere because you need to know what's going to be built around you right so imagine if there was like a really loud factory built here right that would really suck if you you know imagine if you were living in one of these condo buildings here and suddenly there was like a loud you know like let's say like a nightclub here or something right that would really suck okay so i want you guys to think about you know to, to pay attention to you know how the land is zoned all right we're on the other side of this pool of water all the frogs went quiet. I think they heard me coming. Come on, where are you frogs? Show your faces. <laughs> they all stopped croaking when they heard me coming. <laughs> okay, but uh, you know, take a look at this land, right? It's important to know how it's zoned because imagine if, now what I think, I think is probably gonna be another big condo building or some, some kind of building is gonna go up here, right? It's a pretty big land. Now imagine if you bought a condo in one of those, like one of those units there, right? And um, see the sun, the sun rises from over there in the east and it comes over here and it sets in the west. So imagine if you go to one of those condos and uh, you're excited to buy it and uh, you buy it and you move in and you get some nice sun, but then six months later, you know, suddenly a big building starts going up here. Right? And then, you know, you have no, it completely blocks your view. It blocks your morning sunrise. So then, that sucks, right? So instead of seeing the sunrise, you know, from your, from your balcony, you're looking into someone else's house. Right? Because, I mean, look how close those buildings are to each other. Right? So sometimes, sometimes they build these condo buildings really close to each other. And, um, and that sort of sucks, right? So that's why you need to pay attention to how the land is zoned before you buy it. Okay, so those people, whoever bought, bought uh, you know, condos in that building there, I hope they knew, you know, what this land was for before they bought it. Because imagine if this is, a, if this is gonna be a big building, you know, it's really gonna, it's gonna affect their lives. So I just want you guys to think about that, okay? So that's what zoning means. Zoning means what the land, what the purpose of the land is, okay? So that is decided by the city planners, 
Okay, so the city planners get together and they decide, is this going to be residential land? Okay, like I said, all this is residential. You know, that's one kind of residential over there for single family homes. You know, this is another kind of residential here. And, uh, you know, that's another kind of residential there. Okay, those are called townhomes. Those are condos and those are single family homes. But this is all still residential, right? Now, for stores and, you know, like a mall or that kind of stuff shopping okay that's called commercial commercial real estate okay so then the land would be zoned for commercial purposes okay so maybe you know if if that sign wasn't there see that sign right it told us it was for residential if that sign wasn't there you know we could uh, you know we, we it would probably still be safe to assume this is this is residential because I mean all the rest of it is residential but let's just imagine it was for commercial purposes okay then there might be like a grocery store here or there might be like a bowling alley or a, a movie theater I mean this isn't big enough you know for for a huge you know for like a mall or anything but you know there could be like a small some small shops or something right so then that would be called commercial now if it's for like factories and like warehouses and that kind of stuff uh then that's called industrial industrial okay so those are kind of the three types of of zoning you got residential zoning like this and you've got commercial zoning like a mall you know movie theater that kind of stuff that's commercial and then uh and then like big factories and that kind of stuff that's called uh industrial so i just wanted i just wanted you guys to think about this how would you know how would you find out this information well you could go to the sales center right before buying one of these condos here you know you could just ask the people or you could go on the city's website like Calgary this is the city of Calgary you could go on the the city of Calgary website to find out you know how the land is zoned you know maybe you want to live close to some shopping options then you know that would be important for you or maybe you want to uh, get the sunrise you know so then you need to know if this land is going to be you know if there's going to be another big like uh, a condo building here and it's going to block your view you know that would really suck right waking up in the morning you know and then uh just looking into someone else's living room you know, when you want to see the sunrise so right now the economy in alberta is pretty bad that's probably why you know nobody's building on here but uh but when the economy improves you know they're gonna build something here and you know depending on what they build that's really gonna suck for these people you know that's gonna that's gonna drop the that's gonna drop the value of their their condo you know if they want to resell it you know and there's no view that would that would really suck you know like let's take a look at these townhouses here okay so these are townhouses here guys so see that suv that just drove by you know you might want to think about that if you buy one of these townhouses okay so each one of those things is one one thing okay so that person lives it's not like you live above another person okay one person owns that another person owns that and that okay that's called a townhouse okay so see the suv just drove by here this is a street right now you might want to think about that you know do you want to live you know look at their balconies there you know do you do you want your balcony facing a street did you hear that see you know you got cars driving by your your balcony all the time right and uh the nice thing though is uh you know if they build if they build a big building here right at least then it's not right in front of your balcony you know i guess the you know the bad thing is you've got cars driving past you know past your townhouse but at least you don't have you know at least if they build a big building here you've got some space you got some distance right so i just you know i just want you guys to think about this before you buy you know before you buy a condo or before you buy any any kind of you know land or a house here in canada just just think about it you know ask yourself what's this place going to be like next year or five years down the road right and like i said you can just you can just ask ask people you know what what the land is zoned for okay so that's what zoning means pay attention to zoning and um, can you hear the frogs again frogs are over there i don't think these these frogs are still scared of me maybe this land is zoned for frogs no humans allowed here only frogs can live here so if you're a human well sorry about that you can't buy this land but if you're a frog 
then you can rejoice. This land is for you. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Hey guys, take a look at this cloud. Doesn't that cloud look threatening? Wow. Over there, it's like nice clear skies. And then look at that cloud. Man, that is one threatening looking cloud. Uh, anyway, just going to go home here before, before I get swept away by a tornado or some kind of a crazy storm here. So I'm going to run home here. Anyway, hope you guys are happy. It's windy, right? On this side of the wall, it's pretty calm. And when I step over here, wow, it's got pretty windy. So I'm just gonna run home now before I get soaked if it starts raining or hailing. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, hopefully it's not too bad of a storm.